Hi, this is Peter with CalcBook, and today we're going to be looking at reinforcement detailing. So CalcBook has a feature which allows you to uh, run different scenarios um, based on ACI 318, Chapter 25, um, allowing you to determine, you know, uh, development lengths, splice lengths, compression lengths, all that sort of stuff. So the things that CalcBook can check for you um, is a straight development length, hooked development length, a headed development length, and then also tension and compression splices. There's a lot of different inputs um, to get those numbers right. So something we, some things we can change, um, concrete strength, rebar coating, casting position, and then obviously the rebar size and grade. And that will give us the uh, distances required to achieve um, that, that full, full strength of the reinforcement. So um, our problem statement today is gonna be um, looking at this uh, pedestal and foundation Assuming we have number five grade 60 reinforcement uh, with normal weight concrete with F prime C equal to 4,000 PSI, we're trying to determine um, the required tension development length for the following scenarios. So if we have a straight bar, which is what is shown there, um, what that tension development length is into the foundation here. And then if we have a hooked bar, what the length is. And then if we have a headed bar, what the length is. So let's go ahead and open up CalcBook and we'll get started on the design. All right, we've got CalcBook open now. So let's go ahead and click into our ACI 318-19 module. And then we'll go ahead and click on our standalone designs and scroll down here and we're gonna click on reinforcement details. Click confirm and we'll get that loaded up. So first thing we wanna do on the side here is determine if we want to uh, check for tension or compression uh, development length. So first thing we're gonna do is go ahead and select tension um, and then we can decide if we want to check the splice length or not, and we are not gonna check that for this uh, for this problem. Um, and then we're gonna select our rebar size, which is a number five bar. It's gonna be a, uh, let's see, we're gonna start with a straight end. So we're gonna figure out what the development length is for a straight number five bar. We're gonna keep it at grade 60. Um, and it has here uh, the center to center spacing. Uh, we'll leave this at 12 inches, and then our, our clear cover is gonna be three inches as well. Um, our rebar coating factor, right? We can adjust this based on um, what you know type of coating is on the rebar. If it's epoxy coated um, or or you know zinc or something like that. Um, in this particular case, it's going to be uncoated uh, rebar, and so we're going to use just 1.0. And then for our casting position factor. Right, this is gonna be um, for more than 12 inches of fresh concrete placed below horizontal reinforcement um, and 1.0 for all other cases. And so since this is vertical bars coming from the pedestal down into the foundation, uh, we're gonna leave this as 1.0 as well. Uh, we have normal weight concrete and 4,000 PSI. So now we can go ahead and look into our calculations. So like we said, our rebar grade factor is one, our coating factor is one, our casting position factor is one. Our yield strength is grade 60. And then we calculate our development length, right, utilizing ACI 318 table 25.4.2.3. And that gives us a development length of 23.72 inches. And then the next part of the uh, equation or the, the question wanted us to look at hooked bar. So now we can just go back here and we'll assume we have a hooked bar, right? So we've got a, a few other things here we're gonna check, right? So we have um, our hooked bar, concrete strength factor, right, which is uh, has to do with the, the strength of the concrete, and that gives us a 0 0.87. And then we calculate our hooked bar tension development length usual, utilizing 24, uh, excuse me, ACI 318 25.4.3.1, equation A, and that gives us a hooked length of 7.39 inches. And we have a minimum length of 5 inches and another minimum check length of 6 inches, so our Tension development length is 7.39 inches. And then CalcBook also uh, gives you the required hook length, right? So we have the development length, which is from the critical section to the end of the hooked bar. And then we also have the required length of that hook. So our hook length is 10 inches, where our development length is 7.39 inches. And then the last part of the problem statement asks it to look at a headed bar. So we'll go ahead and look at a headed stud like this. Um, and we can we have the similar check for the uh, the headed bar just like we did for the hooked bar, and now we calculate our tension development length for a headed bar, which is with 25.4.4.2 equation A, and that's going to be 5.42 inches, and then we have minimum checks of five and six. So in this case, we're going to uh, be controlled by our minimum length with six inches, and that is going to be what our headed bar 
uh, tension development length is. So that is the end of the problem statement, right? We do have, you know, some other things here that I can show you. If you did want to check splice length, you could uh, enable that, and then you would have to select whether that's going to be a, a class A or class B splice, right? We, we maybe get into this in another video, um, but then you can go ahead and check that, and it will add a section here of the calculation to check the uh, splice length. So if we did select A, right, then it would calculate the splice length required. If you had a class B, right, it's just going to be 1.3 times that splice length and so on. Um, so that is uh, our reinforcement detailing module in CalcBook. We hope you enjoyed this video. Um, and uh, if you guys are still here, we'd like to offer you a 25% discount for your first month. You can go ahead and use the discount code YTCB2024. Um, you can go ahead and, and go online, uh, download the software, and use that discount code for 25% off your first month. Hope you enjoyed the video, and we'll see you next time.